That boy is a hoodbugger. I see him and his concubine was out at the homecoming. Who are you talking about, Melody? I'm talking about my ex, Martel, hook-headed hope. Him and his concubine, they was out, and they took pictures. Martel is so petty. He did that shit because, okay, it was homecoming, but he did that shit. Ooh, I know I am not cursing, honey. <laughs> we ain't even a minute in, honey. That's bad. Listen, um, he did that shiggity because he got all that drama in court with Melody. He is so petty. He is so pet. I was about to say petty. He is so petty. So petty. That is such a narcissist. Gotta get you back. Everything is a punishment. I'm gonna get back at you. Um, and I know some people are like, yeah, but they're Knox's parents. Yeah, but girl, Ariana, you need to have some self-esteem about yourself. And just stop participating. Stop being seen with him. I thought you was, it seemed like you be on that kick. Like, oh, I learned my lesson, da, da, da. And I know some people would be like, oh, it's just a picture. But no, it's not just a picture. This is what I'm talking about as it pertains to boundaries. We have to start saying no to certain things, small things. You know, it's time to put some distance, you know, with her and Martell. But I don't think she wants it. I think she's on that bitch, you know, hoping, wishing, praying that he wife her if she would just stick it out. Okay, she is over there singing the struggle mistress blues, honey. Okay, but yeah, a mess. A fool of a mess. Because I just be thinking with myself, like, I got to a point in my life where my life began um, to really teach me about self-worth, how I want to be treated by men, women, um, you know, on my job, anything, you know, I, I will not, you know, put up with any disrespect. The queen does not deserve that and you will not be abusing the queen. Okay. So if y'all want to wonder why my, t uh, tone is reckless, cause it's like, you gotta let people know you're not about to do that with me. Okay. Not today. And tomorrow don't look good either. Okay? Not on my watch. But, honey, yeah, like a mess. Stop taking pictures with him. Stop. He was dating Sheree. He was over here with Belinda. He was a Girl, it's just... It's just giving pathetic to me. And I know people go be like, well, that's her baby daddy and they could be cordial. Yeah, you could be cordial, but stop feeding, stop feeding into his narcissism, his need to be out there. She knows that them taking a picture, everybody's going to talk about it. And then it'll be like, oh, they look good to get. I'm sorry. He looked good with Melody. He looked so much, it, with Ariane, it looked like it was his, she could be his daughter. That's what it was giving. And it's like, is this what you niggas want? Y'all want, like, women that remind you of, like, what? what is we, we looking, what is we looking for? I ain't even gonna say it, y'all. But what is we looking for? Like, how young you know, do you want her? And that's why a lot of older men like younger women because they want to be able to manipulate and control them. And the minute that they see that they can't control you, they're like done with you. They could be liking you and feeling you, but they are, they're like, oh, you ain't going to stand for that. That's that's what we go be doing because I'm the man and the man control everything and it's the man to wear the pants. And yeah, we want you to be a man and have a healthy relationship with your masculinity. But once you get to the point where you're trying to uh, break a woman down and put her in lowest terms so you can prove you the big man. Okay, like I ain't got time for that. We're not here to... Um, build up your ego as far as you, you know, being masculine. 
it's ridiculous all that's where the narcissism is because it's like yeah i could treat you any kind of way i'm a man i'm paying all the bill it's like no you can't do that you have to be gentle loving supportive um like Heavenly's uh, husband, how he was crying over a Laura, you know, growing up, going to college. Like, that was such a wonderful moment. That's what I'm saying with Mary to Medicine. It just really shows the heart of the Black community, the Black experience of father and a daughter. Like, it really shows us in a really good, relatable um, light instead of like a light where we're being exploited and everybody got side chicks and everybody's marriage is messed up, Carlos King. You get that demon up out your spirit, Carlos. Okay, with these marriages, okay. I'm for real, it's a spirit of like toxic marriages i want dr francis at the reunion okay he needs to be at the reunion to break these relations that's what's missing from the show it needs love and marriage huntsville is the type of show that needs a button on it so yeah we have all these complex diverse issues that we're going through as couples but you you need somebody like dr francis to reel it back in and put it in perspective and let you all know where you are wrong hold you accountable your damn show not go hold yourself accountable leticia marceau okay so yeah he need to be on there more. I, I would love to see a segment with him. Carlos, you need to kind of switch it up at the reunion. So we could see you two times, baby. And that third time, let's get into Dr. Francis. Let's go a little bit like deeper, like educational. Let's educate the people. Let's teach men how to talk to women. I need to hear a black man like teaching these men. Hey, you don't talk to a woman like that and it's a sad because I was at a job and I had to tell this man I didn't like how your friend was talking to me yeah but he a man and he he go look at you your ass shouldn't be coming to work okay oh I almost said the mf and word that's my favorite cuss word too don't it feel good to say your favorite cuss word it just feels so good <laughs> <laughs> but yeah like ugh. you shouldn't have to uh tell these men how to talk to women you just shouldn't and he was co-signing and i called myself like liking him thinking he was cool and then i began to see like damn you you niggas really is y'all Y'all not. <laughs> Y'all are the same, honey. There's nothing special. There's nothing new under the sun. All of you niggas is the same. Because I was like, yeah, he a good dude. He a good, you know, he cool. You know how you have a feeling about somebody and then they get to talking. And that's another thing with you men. Y'all get to talking and you ruin everything. It's like, oh, now nah, I don't want to kiss you. I don't want to touch you. I don't want to know you. Get the hell on. Get the hell on. Tyrone. Oh, that would be a good song. See, I'm creative. Be coming up with shit, you know. But yeah, mm -mm -mm. a mess. I'm over here watching Potomac. Giselle, you really need help. You go tell Wendy, well, I don't really like it, you know, when you get all combative and condescending. And I'm looking at Giselle like, and she don't like when you attack her marriage and you don't have one. And people have to stop doing that. I be seeing people do that. You can't do that. And it seemed like they attacked the marriage because maybe that's something they want. But we have Giselle. Giselle seems like she likes being alone because she can control it. Um, I think that Giselle wants love. 
I don't know if she'll ever admit to it, but I think she wants love, but she's smart enough to know I can't have it 